Hey everybody, Mr. Miola here, just coming at you with a quick little message. Unfortunately, the episode that I was intending to upload today, it's no longer existing. The footage got corrupted. There is no video footage of it at all, unfortunately. So, yeah, unfortunately, you're never going to see that episode and neither am I ever again. But what you are going to see instead today is the next episode which is a very, very exciting one. So I hope you guys are pumped for this one. We achieved some amazing things in this episode. Get hyped, everybody. Get excited. And while I got you here, go ahead, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm going to be doing some giveaways pretty darn soon. This week, I'm thinking maybe giving away a keyboard or something like that. But uh, yeah, head on over there if you want to be a part of all of that for more information. And for now, enjoy the rest of the episode. Hey! everybody, Mr. Miola here and welcome back to Birthdays The Beginning. In the last few episodes, we have gone and built up our world from just a slightly dinosaur kingdom, majority animal kingdom, to a full-blown, I don't even know if you can show it from out here, but it's it's got people. We've got people, not just any kinds of people. We have like civilized actual people. We went all the way from homo sapiens to ancient humans to now modern humans, I guess we'll call them, or futuristic humans, or what, actually, they're probably not futuristic humans, but, yeah, we went from tiny little huts to these, like, Roman temple-looking things, oh, yeah, here we go, we've gone from little tribal huts to Roman kingdoms to literal castles and kingdom, it is insane, but it's so cool, and this episode, however, we're gonna be focusing on one thing, something we began last episode, but it will hopefully continue today. We are heading down one of the little storylines. In fact, we went and got ourselves a new shark somehow. I did. We, we weren't even expecting that, but um, where are our little squiddy friends? These guys here. These guys here. Our little blooper goopers, flooper goopers, whatever these little Mario Super Mario squiddy guys are called. These guys here. And these guys evolve into some amazing things, which hopefully we can fulfill today. This little timeline right here. So we started out with the Ammonite. We somehow managed to get the Nautilus yesterday. We then got to the Heterolologo. And uh, we're hopefully going to work our way down this pathway today. And while we're at it, hey, maybe we can get some sharks as well. As well. Who knows? We got these ones accidentally. It may evolve into some extra ones. Who knows? The Mako Shark. The Mako Shark sounds bloody awesome. Maybe we'll throw an evolution stone on that and, and get that happening. Who really knows? But if you guys do enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead, punch the thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs up. But let's do this thing. So our hetero lullago, hey, our hetero lullago. We got to make this guy happen. How do we get the next one? Between 3 and 11 degrees in a deep sea. I'm pretty sure we satisfy those conditions. Um, but let's have a little look, I suppose. The 3 to 11 degrees. We've, we've got that. We've got the deep sea of eight degrees and nine degrees. We have plenty of room for these things to spawn in. So all we may need to do is to zoom out and let it happen. But before we do all of that, I am going to go and throw one evolution stone down on our little sharky friend right here. We're gonna zoom out and then see what happens. Let's go. We're gonna get ready to... We're gonna get ready to stop this thing. Wait, okay. We got a bunch of new things. <laughs> what do we get exactly? I reckon we- Oh, we've got a swordfish! We've been trying to get this guy for so long and we actually did it. The Kajikia Aldax. And we level up to level 23 as well. Hell yeah. But who is left? Did we get our guy? Did we get our- Oh, it's another shark. It's another shark. This is the- Oh, it's the Ioxyrhynchus. I thought we were going to- Is this the- Oh, it's the Mako shark. This is the Mako. So we didn't get- whatever our little squiddy friend's supposed to turn into. Instead, we somehow got two of the different shark evolutions, and then we got our little, uh, our old cows back as well. So let's have a look at that. This guy evolved into the Mako shark, the swordfish. They go evolve into two extra guys as well. One of them is a shallows, one of them is a sea creature. But there's also this guy here, the Karacharodon. That, is there a Megalodon anywhere? I kind of want to get a Megalodon. Maybe this one here is a Megalodon. The great- Oh, it's the Great White Shark. It's probably not a Megalodon then. It emerged in the shallows when ancient humans were propagating. Well, that might just spawn along. Who knows? I'm going to go throw an evolution stone on both of these guys then. See if we can evolve them into something. Should we try and get this guy here as well? Oh, we don't actually have any of those in the first place, so never mind. <laughs> but, okay, two evolution stones on the Mako Shark and that fella right there. Um, well, one of them's down here, right? Where they at? There was one around here somewhere. Oh, hold on. Nope. Is that the Mako? 
I think that's the Mako Shard. Yep, that's the one. Okay. So if I want to... Oh, I can't actually do it from this angle, can I? So if I go and drop an evolution on you, and then we'll go and find the Swordfish dude as well. This one right here. And we'll drop one on him too. We'll go and zoom out, speed up time, and see what happens. We got one of them. Is he going to stay alive though? That's the question. I, I hope that wasn't him. <laughs> I hope he didn't die straight away. I think we might need to just jump straight in. We're going to have to jump straight in and just uh, make sure. Oh, they might have died already. Yeah, I think they might have died. Whatever it was, I think it died already. Because it's not showing up in my on my little mini-map. Something spawned in. What was it? There was something. This thing. <gasps> the coral spawned in and then it died instantly. Oh, man. I didn't even try and... Did I, like, try and evolve the wrong thing or something? I don't know. What we're going to do there, we're going to zoom out and just let it roll. We're just going to let it roll. Because hopefully our little squiddy guys will naturally start... I don't know, spreading out, populating, and then hopefully evolve further into the little squid, or the extra little squid that we're trying to get. Doesn't look like it's happening, though. Does... Let's go in. <laughs> We've got something. We've got something new. Oh, it's up top here over here. What did we, what did we just get? It's a, a something Borealis. Is it a... Is it a cow? No, it's behind over here. It's down here. Oh, oh, it's a little snow mouse. Dude, a musparalis. Awesome. I didn't even realize we'd reached minus temperatures up here. That's awesome. That's really cool. Man, look how many little items we've got spread out all over our map. It is ridiculous. There's so many of them. There's a bunch in the like river over there as well. But okay, let's go zoom back out and we'll see what happens yet again. Okay, our little mousies, our new little mousies have died already. Anything else want to pop along, though? Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. How are our squid going, though? Where are they at? Oh, here we go. Right over here. A heterologo. We've got 500,000 of them. We shouldn't have any issues getting more, then, should we? Like, the next one should be coming along. We've got half a million of them. A cephalopod with eight arms and two long tentacles. Okay, but what do we need to get the next one? Three to 11 degrees. We've got that sorted, man. We've got that sorted. I'm guessing all we really got to do is drop an evolution stone on him, which we can do. Petro Lollygo. Let's just throw it on him. Let's zoom out, cross our fingers, and hope that they come along. Here we go. No. No. Come on. Petro Lollygoes. You can do it, buddies. You can do it, little guys. Why isn't it happening? I thought we'd get it for certain. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe what we should try and do is throw a um, a mutation one on there. Maybe that's what we got to do. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Unleash the speed of the world. We got something. I don't know if it's the right thing, but we got something. It might be. It's in the water. It's deep in the water. Please be what I... Oh, I think it is. I think it's what we were going for. We're doing this thing. It's whoa! It looks pretty cool, actually. A lycotethusus. A lycotethus. How did he say? A lycotethus. A lycotethus. 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 Awesome. Okay. Well, we've got our little squiddy friends. Next up, the giant squid. This is where it's going to get awesome. A giant squid that lives in an extremely deep, in extremely deep waters. It emerged as Xanclus borealis began to spawn. Oh no! Emerged in wide, flat regions of the deep sea. We have wide, flat regions in our deep sea. We satisfy the 3 to 11 degree temperatures. The only thing is, it wants a Xanclus borealis. And I have no idea what that is. As, like, there is some... Oh, it's, it must be one of these. It must be one of these shells. But all of our shells have died. Xanclus borealis. It's got to be one of these two things. That's all it could possibly be. Maybe we can find a workaround? It's none of these things. How about these guys? No? None of you guys want to be a Xanclus Borealis? Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> How do we get these shells back? We're going to have to get these guys, but I have no area in my sea that's that hot. There is no way of us getting these guys back. Like, I'm going to get those. 53 degrees. 34 degrees. Come over here. 
49, 29, 47. There is no chance of getting any of these things. I'm, I'm assuming it's this one here. But I don't know for certain. Borealis. It could even be a starfish. Which we don't have any of anymore either. Oh, this is bad. This, this might spell the end for our little path here, but you know what I'm going to do? As long as these guys survive, let's just zoom out, speed things up and see what happens. Hopefully they just don't die on their own. I think they're good. They're propagating. They're spreading. That's what I want to see. I just hope, I just hope, let's go and intervene right now really quickly. I just hope that um, maybe we can throw a mutation thing on them and that'll do the job. So we're going to try that. I'm going I'm to start with the seed of mutation. We're going to zoom out and we're going to hope that it works out. It might have worked. And Arakatuthis, that sounds kind of tough, right? It might have worked. It's in the water. It's in the water. It's not in the deep sea. It's just in the regular seas, though. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my sweet god! Look at this guy! What in the world? I can't believe we did it! I can't believe we did it! Capture him right away before this before he disappears on us! The Arachitethustus! Arch I keep saying it right. Arachitethus... Arachitooth... Arachiteth... Arachitooth... Arachitoothus... Arachiteth... Arcatuthus. Arcatuthus. I'm throwing in extra words and everything, every extra letters. Well, we've got ourselves an Arcatuthus now. We're going full steam ahead, baby. We're going full steam ahead. What comes next after the Arcatuthus? This shark. The little pointy nose shark. 6 to 18 degrees. How is this guy in the normal sea? He spawns in the deep sea. No idea how that happened. He might actually die if we're not careful. There's only 63 of them. An evolution distortion in the cube has given rise... So this guy's next. An evolutionary distortion in the cube has given rise to the violent Neptune shark. It emerged at the same time as Arcatuthus and Nessie. Nessie? You know what a Nessie is, right? Lo it's a, the Loch Ness Monster. That's Nessie. Does that mean that we're supposed to have... I, I can only assume that the Nessie is this thing? Maybe the Plesio turns into a, a, a Nessie? But we got no plesios, so there's no chance of us getting a Nessie. Which kind of wants, makes me want to just go ahead and throw down a mutation on this guy. Or an evolution or something. I'm going to throw a mutation on him. Before he dies, just in case he does die. I don't want that to happen. So we're going to go. I'm going to throw a mutation on him. Hopefully that's all he needs. And I'm actually going to throw a mutation on this dude here as well. I think it was this one, or was it the other guy? No, this one here. We're going to throw a mutation on you, because we haven't tried mutations on these guys. We only tried the evolutions. So we're going to zoom out, and we're going to see what happens. Here we go. Three new things! We can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait. What did we just get? Hold on, where even are they? They're all in the water. I think all three of them evolved. Surely not. Oh, we definitely got ourselves a new swordfish! That's what I'm talking about, baby! And Exidia's a Galadius. He's a, he's a pretty cool looking swordfish. Did we get our new shark as well? Is that this guy? <gasps> We've got our new shark too! Yes! The sea Karachari! Whoa, it's like a white shark. That's awesome. He's just completely white. And then we should also have a one last guy deep down in the sea. I'm almost too scared to go down and find him. We have one last shark. Possibly. Yeah, there he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at this thing! What in the world? What in the world? A car- Whoa! A car- Carcharodon Rex. It's like a CT Rex. What in the world? <laughs> Carcharodon Rex. That is the coolest guy that we have got yet. That is amazing. Look at this guy, man. Look at him. Oh my god. That is amazing. Well, well, well. It doesn't all end here, though, does it? 
No, 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 no. There's a couple more evolutions for this lion that we still want to search and we still want to try and get. But really quickly, I'm going to go and collect all of our new items just in case there's some seeds of mutation or evolution here. We're going to need everyone we can get if we want to get all these creatures in the end. In fact, let me check our library real quickly. How many guys have we collected? We've collected 224 of a potential. I think it's 298 or something. Let me, uh, actually, I'll, I'll go scroll straight downwards. How many, how many are there? 292. So we're missing 68 creatures altogether. Oh, there's Nessie. Oh, there's a bunch of the, uh, the old crazy weird. Oh, there's a couple birds and stuff as well. Hmm. I kind of want to, oh, no, no, no. I want to go back. I want to go back. What else can I throw some, some things down on? I could probably throw a, a, I don't know. I can throw some stones onto these guys, get some more birds, some more ducks if we want more ducks. We've got the vulture guy. We can get some, I, I, just, no, no, no. We're focusing on the focus of this episode. In fact, oh, what about the alligator? The crocodile, it's a crocodile. I want to get the crocodile. But then at the same time, we've got our two sharks and swordfish now. There's still one more for there. But there's th there's these guys. There's still two more guys that this, the Mako, the, the Karacharodon Rex can turn into. What's next? A differentiated dinosaur that appeared when the Karacharodon Rex was ravaging the ocean. Among humans, its name means Terrible Lizard King. Holy crap, this can't be real. A lot of these things are based on real creatures. This one cannot be real. We're going to try and get it anyway. But I'm going to throw an evolution on this guy. Or maybe it's a... I don't know if it's a mutation or an evolution. And I'm going to throw a mutation on the alligator. So let's try and do this thing. Let's do this thing. Where's our big blue alligator? Do we even have any more of them or what? We've had them this whole time. They've got to be around here somewhere, right? Something tells me they might not be around anymore. No, there he is. He's down here. He's down here. Well, I don't know what he's doing over here, but he seems to have just wound up over here somehow. Let's throw a mutation on him. And then, what do you reckon it's going to be, guys? A mutation or an evolution? I'm going to try a mutation. Hopefully, he doesn't die. Hopefully, he doesn't die. Here we go. Here we go. In three, two, one, let's go! Something died, but we have two new creatures. We have two new creatures. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. What have we got? There's something over here. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Look at this thing! Holy crap! Oh my god! Yeah! No kidding, this is the Lizard King! This is definitely the Lizard King! Oh my sweet lord! What is he? A T-Rex? Just a T-Rex? How is this a T-Rex? This is most definitely not a T-Rex. I've seen a T-Rex. We've had a T-Rex before. Maybe they just couldn't come up with any other names for the guy. But we also should have a crocodile. <gasps> that That's not... That's... What? That's not what I was going for. A crotch... A rodilus. Crotched rodilus. A different... What? That's... I was going for a crocodile. Not that thing. How did we skip an evolution? What? We skipped, we went from the alligator straight to that guy without getting the one in between. But what about this one? I want to get this one. I guess we got to throw an evolution stone down on the alligator. And on top of that, we also have a one step left over here. One more step to go. And this one down here looks amazing. It looks incredible. An intelligent mammal birthed by the cube, feared even by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Humans call it the Grand Watcher and choose to live in peace with it. Somehow, I don't know how you live in peace with whatever that thing is, but I guess we should just try and do this. I guess we need to try and evolve our T-Rex, our very, very scary looking T-Rex over here. But I just want to drop some of this land a little bit. I want to see our little T-Rex guy, man. Look at this guy. He's amazing. Well, I guess it's time. Let's drop an evolution stone on him. Let's drop, I guess, an evolution stone on this guy as well. No, not him. We're going to drop a mutation stone on our alligator and hopefully get a crocodile. Okay, let's zoom out and see what happens. Here we go. 
Crocodilus! We got the Crocodilus! Do we still have T-Rexes though? I don't know. Let's have a look. Okay. <gasps> Carcharodon Rex died! Carcharodon Rex died! Our little amazing creature down the bottom of the ocean there is no longer. He's gone. <laughs> He's all gone. But it's okay, because we've got a new creature up here somewhere. There he is! We've got ourselves a crocodile! Finally! Just a regular old crocodile. These guys are native creatures to Australia. In America, you guys have got alligators. We over here have crocodiles. I don't know what's tougher, scarier, or whatever, but these guys are absolutely... You don't want to go near them, basically. They can be quite devastating. We've still got this guy, though. How many of them do we have? Six of them. That's not a lot. He's going to die any second. Now, we tried the evolution stone on him, didn't we? Did we try an evolution stone on him? Because whenever we try it, I want to try the other thing on him. Mutation stone. We've got to try and get his evolution. Come on. Please, 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 don't die. The Smilodon Rex. What? What kind of name is that? The Smilodon Rex. Oh, we got to go in and check it out. We've got to go in and check it out. He's over here. He's over there. Guys, get ready for this. Prepare thyselves. You are about to be introduced to the Smilodon Rex. Oh my god. What is that? What is that? How, why would you call it a Smilodon Rex? Wow. And we actually got an achievement for that. So... These guys here are the rulers of our kingdom, I guess. These guys are the rulers of the cube. But they seem to live in harmony with the rest of the world. The different, different levels of humankind. Do we still have all of the levels of them? We've got modern people. We have... Do we still have the ancient people? Yes, we do. We've still got the ancient people. But do we have the homo... We've got the monkeys. They haven't evolved just yet properly. And we've got these guys. Yeah, we've got all, like, four levels of, of people, I suppose. But we've gone and collected all of that line. I'm so glad we did that. Look at all of these. That guy is incredible. He's like, I don't know, the god of the mammals. This guy's the god of the dinosaurs. This guy's the god of the sharks. This guy's the god of the sea. I can't believe we got all of that. I'm so glad we did because we've been trying to for so long. What's even next for us? We've captured 228 things. 228 things. I guess I can evolve a piece of corn. I guess we could do that. <gasps> Just to finish up this whole tree. We can't get that. I don't know why we'd want to anyway. We can evolve the Gerberas into this. Or the, um... We don't have trees. We don't have trees. Yeah, a lot of these things have died, unfortunately. There's not much we can do about that. Our corals have, have seen better days as well. We don't have any spiders left. We've missed out on a couple dinosaurs. We can get turtles if we want to get turtles. There's two different, different kinds of turtles, different kinds of snakes. There's another type of rat we can still get. There's another type of cow. Um, a little, oh, we got to get the type of puppy as well still. How do we get him? Hmm. I wonder if that's a... Okay. Okay. Where's our little puppy? Where's our little puppy at? I know he's around here somewhere. Our world is so just over over full right now we gotta stop letting in new species we're full we can't take it anymore but where's our little puppy gone there should be a puppy around here somewhere right i actually have no idea we might need to go and zoom out we might need to zoom out let things roll for a little bit and just see what happens everything's dying that's what's happening but i haven't changed anything I haven't changed! <gasps> Our T-Rex died! No! Not our T-Rex! What? I loved my T-Rex! He was the god of the dinosaurs! And we can't even get him back because we don't have <laughs> we don't have the other thing. Do we still have the giant squid or did he go as well? I think the giant squid left us as well! And the little like mega shark down the bottom there as well. So we've lost. All of those guys. That's sad, man. That's sad. All right. Well, how about our puppy? 
That's what we're trying to find after all. Where's my little pu puppy at? Our little pupper. He's actually nowhere to be seen. Do we even have any left in our world? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of them. He should be somewhere then. There is definitely a little puppy around here somewhere. Where that is, he might be up in the mountains. There's different types of dogs up here. There's a, there's a little saber cat up here as well. But unfortunately, no little puppers. <gasps> Found him! Found him! Okay. And we wanted to go and drop a mutation on him. That's what we were going to do. Um, real quickly, is there anything else? Nah, stuff it. Let's get out of here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. What's inside? A schnauzer. A schnauzer. A schnauzer. That's the one. That's the one. Where is he? There he is. Oh, look at you, little guy. He's the pet of the modern humans, I think. Well, guys, I tell you what, I think it's time we wrap this episode up. We have achieved a lot this episode. We went and got all of the little crocodile variants. This guy right here. Look at him. Look at him. We went and got the giant squid, which unfortunately no longer seems to be down here, which makes me sad. Makes me really sad. We got ourselves swordfish and sharks and all sorts of things like that. We got ourselves the giant T-Rex, who unfortunately has gone extinct already. And of course, the Smilosaurus Rex or whatever this thing here is. What's this thing called? What's this guy called again? What was he? Smilodon or something. Smilodon Rex. <laughs> what a cool name. But we are going to end this episode here. I don't know what comes next. I think we've accomplished just about everything. Maybe we create a new world. Maybe we go and, I guess, unlock the extra things. Because there's still a few things we haven't gotten. But we might need to start fresh to get those things. I don't know for certain, to be honest. But let me know down in the comments what you would like to see me do. Would you like me to start a new world? Maybe a bigger world? Would you like me to keep up with this world and see what else we can unlock? But I think we've got pretty much everything we could possibly get in this world. Let me know down in the comments, guys, because I have no idea what comes next. If you guys did enjoy this video and have enjoyed this series up until now, make sure to let me know by punching the thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs ups. And of course, if you want to see more of this game, those thumbs ups will definitely show me that you want to see that. But that's all for this video, guys. I'll catch you in the next video very, very soon. Bye for now.